uh, they turned out to be really brilliant in their work. So when you're sick and you, you think you're fighting for your rights, you need some humility. I lost some of that, so I was a bit stroppy. And um, I was quickly put in my place of somebody who had asked for help. And it ended up very well for me because they do psychosocial support and care there of people who are from disastrous situations. And basically what they do, they give you back your life by opening yourself, you, to yourself. I call it personal development. And they actually hand you back the tools to continue with your life. It starts. And my dog is called Starts. And another one is called Zeke, which is Zimbabwe Information Center. Because that is the best way, well, actually, I wanted to name three of them after my therapist. <laughs> and my husband said that that's a big one. So I took the, the institutions. <laughs> I took the institutions. So when you come to our home, you meet Stats and Zig, and they're very good guard dogs. Uh, but it is to remind myself of a time when an epistemological break was made in my life. There is life before torture, and there is life after torture. And the life after torture is really a new life. And I think you um, value every minute of the day, and you value all the people around you, because you know that you will never relive that moment again. So stars really gave me my life back. And my therapist in that institution remain like saviors to me and my family.